In this video what we're going to try to do is to create a grand total for the order in this particular uh, restaurant database and if you remember previously we've managed to do, an, do a calculation in a subform here and what we're now going to do is to transfer the grand total of these values here for all of the items onto the main form itself. Now unfortunately access doesn't make this very easy and in fact we have to do it in two steps. The first step is to perform the calculation here in the subform and then transfer that value into uh, onto the the main form here. Uh, don't worry too much about it. I'll take through step by step, uh, and hopefully we'll end up with this total on the main form. So the first thing I'm going to do is to close down the whole application, and I'm going to go to our order subform and place it in design view. And this is where we're going to calculate the total of all of those items for an order. And the way which we do this is to put a text box here into the form footer and what I'll do first of all is to give this particular text box um, a meaningful name by bringing up its properties and I'm going to call it order total like that close down the properties dialog and in this part here where it says unbound is where our formula is going to be and we're going to do a formula very similar to you doing a spreadsheet by using a sum function to add up all of the prices multiplied by the quantities. So here we go, it's equal sign first of all, then the sum function, and we open a pair of round brackets like that, and then we're going to do the main calculation, which is to multiply the price, which we have to have in square brackets, by the quantity, which also has to be in square brackets, like that, and then close those brackets off like that. Now, what we can then do is to try to view this uh, and see what that total is and unfortunately access doesn't allow us to view it because in this particular type of uh, display it doesn't show any of the footer information that's fairly easy to do this uh, and, and if you really need to see it um, I'll show you now if not you can always scrub through this bit on the video so the first thing I'm going to do is to, to close that down and, and save that particular one and what we do is to go back into design view for the form for the subform and instead of seeing it in datasheet view I'm going to click on form view like that and what you can see at the bottom there is in fact we have 12 which um, if you flick back to the original one you'll find out is is the total for that particular order so that's just proved that it works as I say you don't really have to see that um, I just showed you that that's the way that it's going to go so I'll make sure I go back into datasheet view now okay and now you can see everything that's going on there Right, so that's that job done. And the next thing we need to do is to transfer that value, that's order total, over onto the main form. So if we go to reservations, our main form, into design view, again, to have a value, we click on there and we have a text box. So here's our text box, and I'll make it quite long because there's quite a long formula going to go into, into this one here. Now this is where you'll have to bear with me because it's quite a long formula and quite a complicated one, so just follow the structure of it and I'll try and talk you through the whole thing. So here we go. Again we start with an equal sign. And then in square brackets we have to place the name of our subform. Now that's fairly easy to find because the name of the subform is of course there, which is orders subform. So it's now in square brackets orders subform. Like that, close the square brackets. Then there's a full stop and then the word form. Now that always goes in there, always has the word form. That's followed by an exclamation mark and then it has to be the name of that new field that we added to our subform footer. Now that if you remember was order total like that and that's order total added to it and as we did once before I'm going to just quickly bring up the properties of this uh, of this box and we're going to make it in our format we need to make it currency because it's going to be the uh, the grand total of what's going on in the order so here's currency and I can bring that up close that down again uh, just a bit of shrinkage on this one so that we can move the whole thing around a little bit and move this one as well as the heading and in fact what I'll do is I'll quickly put the word total in there so it looks a little bit more professional when we do it. So hopefully now what we've done 
Uh, we just spotted a spelling mistake in there. There we go, just get rid of that stray E that's sitting there. I think I've got that one right now. There we go. Yes. And what we can now do is to hit this button up here to view the whole thing. And we can see that the grand total for our order has been transferred over onto the main form.